Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. The heat is on at Hillsborough County Fire Rescue. An investigation sends home four members of the department's top brass. News Channel 8 has confirmed that three shift commanders and one deputy chief at Hillsborough County Fire Rescue are on administrative leave indefinitely. Fire Chief Dennis Jones sent four men home yesterday in part because of lingering questions about their time cards. According to Target 8 Senior Investigator Steve Anders, this comes following a quick moving county investigation. Yeah, the county attorney's office heard about potential problems just about a week ago. It suggested hiring an outside investigator to look at whether the four falsified their time cards, and this investigation caught fire. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And at Hillsborough County Fire Rescue, things got really hot this week. Three shift commanders, Nelson Dees, Michael Ginsho, and Grant Preissu, along with their supervisor, Deputy Chief of Operations Chip Branham, all placed on indefinite administrative leave Wednesday. The news took Commission Chair Stacy White, just back from out of town, by surprise. Yes, I'm disappointed that I haven't been briefed on this issue and that I'm not in the loop. Um, you know, this rises to the level of a commissioner receiving a phone call whether I'm out of town or not. The four gentlemen were sent home by the fire chief in the abundance of caution while we continue and conduct our review of this matter. This matter, according to senior assistant county attorney Rudy Heidermoda, involves time cards. The representation on the time card is one where it says that they were actually at work when they were not at work. That, that's what it appears to us to be. The county actually hired a former FBI agent to investigate this. In this case, because of the sensitivity of the matter, we wanted to retain an outside investigator for purposes of the review. And we also wanted to make sure that it was done very quickly and whether there's misconduct or not. According to Heidermoda, the four were interviewed today. I was able to contact Chip Branham. He told me he could not comment. If something's uh, gone awry with respect to uh, to pay, to time, and, and, and we're spending money that we shouldn't be spending, that is by all means something that I want to get to the bottom of. According to Rudy Heidermoda, the county is only looking at time card issues at the moment. Whether this branches out and involves other people depends on what the investigator finds. And I asked if this involved other issues like training or grants used for training, and they said no, not at this time. Yeah, but still, I mean, hiring a former FBI agent, that's a pretty serious play. How far back are they looking? It's kind of strange that they hired a former FBI guy, I think. Now, according to Mr. Hadamoto, the county wanted someone well-qualified who could act quickly and efficiently. How far back they're looking is really up to what the investigator finds. They hope to have this wrapped up within the next week. Well, you're also investigating, and you'll follow up with a report as well. Sure. Thank you for sure. that, Steve. And a reminder, if you have a problem that you want Steve to investigate, you can call his Target 8 helpline at 1-800-338-0808.